Hey, what is going on, guys? So today we're checking out the Hero Belief Studio Final Fantasy VII Remake Tifa Lockhart One Fourth Scale Resin Statue. So this piece was announced a couple of weeks ago, and it's set for release in May to July 2021. So we just have a couple months to wait. It does look to be a pretty nice piece. But if you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys will know that uh, we can't always trust these promotional photos because we just don't know how the in-hand product is gonna look. But uh, speaking from these promotional photos, I've gotta say it does look to be a pretty nice piece. And uh, yeah, I just love the sculpt, I love the detailing and uh, the paint job. I also love the base, it seems to be pretty full with this uh, diorama style type of base, which I think looks pretty cool. It's probably one of the most nice looking bases that I've seen out of all these Final Fantasy VII statues. I'm not entirely sure what type of design this design is based off. I thought it may be inspired by the Honeybee Tifa design. I mean, they kind of look similar, but uh, yeah, I don't really think it's based off any specific design from the game that uh, I can remember anyway. So yeah, if you guys do know what this design is from, then uh, yeah, please do leave a comment below. Also, let me know what you guys think of the statue. If you guys like it, if you dislike it, and if you're gonna pre-order. Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So I really love the sculpt, I think it's a great likeness to the character. Once again, as I mentioned before, we don't know how the final in-hand product is gonna turn out. But uh, yeah, I'm just judging it completely based off these promotional photos. So in my opinion, I think it looks great. I do love the sculpting here and uh, it also seems to have a pretty nice paint job. I don't really think it looks like a 3D render. It looks like a physical statue to me. I think they've made a single in-hand statue of this specific product to take these promotional photos. So I don't think the statue is going to turn out as good as quality as these photos. These photos are obviously enhanced to really sell the product. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind before you decide to pre-order these statues. As you can see, she has these bunny ears at the top. I can imagine they'd be pretty fragile, so uh, yeah, I do think they're probably gonna be separate pieces, which you're gonna have to insert onto the statue. And as for the body piece, she's wearing this kind of like latex design for the dress. I mean, these statues of Tifa are just always super lewd, which I think is like the main selling point of them, and it's probably why these statues get so much attention. She also has the little bunny tail at the back, which I assume this is sculpted directly onto the statue. I can't imagine this would be a separate piece. And of course, at the bottom, she has these high heels. As you can see on the table, we have this red wine bottle, and we also have the glass, which is half full or half empty, whichever which way you want to say it. But uh, yeah, very cool details, I mean, this is super unique. We haven't had items like this for any statue out there, so I just think this is a really cool touch, and uh, yeah, I really do like the base a lot. Once again, I assume they're going to be separate pieces, which uh, you're probably going to have to peg onto the table. And as for the table itself, it seems to be painted in this nice type of gold color and there even seems to be like a couple of gems embedded into the table which is a, a really cool design. It also seems like the table acts as a stand to support the figure, which I think is a nice touch. I mean, they've really incorporated the whole statue to really support itself, so I quite like that feature about this piece. And of course at the back here we have this red cloth which is kind of draping off the table. It just adds to a nice effect. And uh, yeah, it really helps to complete the statue. It also seems to have some nice fabric details here at the side. And at the bottom of the base, I mean, it's pretty standard that we have this humongous base for these statues. They pretty much always seem to have this large round base, which really helps to stand the figure up. And it just helps to stop it from falling over. Once again, we have these nice gems, which are sculpted into the base. Yeah, we have some nice designs here as well. It looks very rich, like a very elegant piece. You could almost display the statue on your mantelpiece without even knowing that it's Final Fantasy and it would look like a super vintage looking piece. So I just think Final Fantasy fans and even people who are non-Final Fantasy fans, they would probably all enjoy the statue. So yeah, you kind of get the best of both worlds here. The statue is also cast off, as you guys would imagine. So yeah, that is just something extra for those people who would want those details. Anyhow guys, a pretty nice piece. It seems to be a pretty promising statue from these promotional photos. I'm pretty impressed with this statue, and if I didn't have the Pink Pink Studio Tifa on pre-order, I may have considered this one. But in my personal opinion, I would just rather go for the more iconic look of Tifa. But it's always nice to have these different designs of the character, just for a bit of variation. We're just gonna have to wait and see till the final product is released to see how it's really gonna turn out. So let me know what you guys think of the statue in the comments below. I'm gonna have a lot more Final Fantasy 7 videos on the way, so be sure to ring that bell notification so you guys don't miss out on these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Alright, take it easy, guys.